let us study about the short circuit MVA. Before going on to that topic, uh, we should know what is meant by the nominal voltage level. In a power system, there can be various terminologies used for various kinds of voltages or currents like the nominal value, the rated value and any other kind of words can be used for various kinds of voltage levels or current levels or another quantities. Now what is meant by nominal? As I already told when we were studying about the nominal net, uh, circuit diagram or the equivalent circuit diagram for transmission line, uh, I told that nominal is derived from the word name. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that for a power system, let us say I am studying uh, a power system which is just dealing with the voltage level 220 volt AC. Now, for this system, this 220 volt AC is kind of nominal voltage level. The equipment used in this system can be rated, let us say, 250 volt AC. Or the rating of any equipment used, like, like uh, any inverter AC, which is being used in at home, it can be uh, from 160 volt AC to 280 volt AC. So, for a nominal 220 volt AC system, the equipment can have different rated voltage levels uh, which can be a little bit different from the nominal values depending upon the type of equipment and various type of uh, uh, components used inside it. So, uh, in this way, we can say that nominal voltage level or the nominal values for any quantity can be different from the rated quantity. However, the difference can may not be that large. Now, whenever we are going to design any system, let us say I am going to design a substation, then the utility companies, that is power utility companies, they usually provide a value called short circuit MVA. This is the input which is being given by the power utility companies whenever we are going to design any substation. Let us say this is my substation, my substation which I am going to uh, design and this is the grid substation which is under any power utility. Okay, so as we have seen that any network can be represented by its Thevenin equivalent. Let us say in my system a three phase fault occurs. Okay. So let us say at this point before the fault there was a voltage Vf. Okay. Now as we have seen that this system can be represented by just a voltage source equal to Vf in series with the Z thevenin and if I neglect the resistance part then it is just X thevenin okay and this is the switch which is simulating the fault when the switch is closed it is simulating the fault and the current flowing is the short circuit current okay now the utility has already specified this value now, how to utilize this input to determine the value of fault current which will be flowing whenever any fault is going to occur in the system. Now, since this is current value is very crucial like in designing of earth mat, whenever any line to ground or, a, or fault which is in which uh, current is going to flow through the ground then I will need that current to redesign the earth mat. Similarly this kind of current will have to be interrupted by the circuit breakers also and various equipment in between will have to carry that current also. So this current is going to determine a lot of 
वैल्यूज फॉर लॉट ऑफ रेटेड वैल्यूज फॉर ए मैन्यू ऑफ इक्विपमेंट बींग यूज इन दी सब स्टेशन ओके सो जस्ट बाय दिस इनपुट I want to find this current. How to do that? The first thing to note that usually this voltage, the voltage at this point before fault, is usually equal to the nominal voltage of the system. so this is the first point which usually is true for the given system okay actually in the equivalent thevenin network this is the per phase value so i should write it as nominal line to line voltage of the system divided by root 3 okay now x thevenin can be simply represent uh, uh, written as nominal line voltage divided by root 3 divided by the short circuit current okay this is the value in ohm okay so nominal voltage value is usually known for any given system like i am if i am going to design my substation i am going to know uh, the what kind of voltage level will be there in the system let us say i am designing a, a system of 110 kv oblique 33 kv then these are the nominal voltage values for the system then i know this value okay now x thevenin in per unit what it is it is x thevenin in ohms divided by x base or z base okay now we know that z base or x base is nothing but base voltage squared divided by mva base into 10 to the power minus 6 if it is kilo kilo voltage then i don't need uh, uh, the uh, factor of 10 to the power minus 6 okay now for my system if i take usually it is the case for any uh, practical system also that the nominal voltage nominal line voltage is equal to the base voltage okay so mva base will be nothing but root 3 nominal voltage into base current into 10 to the power minus 6 for the mva factor okay now short circuit mva is defined as root 3 into nominal voltage into short circuit current into 10 to the power minus 6 so this is the definition for the short circuit mva and this is the definition for the base mva okay now the thevenin impedance for the system just behind my substation can be find out in per unit form by using these values x thevenin per unit is equal to x thevenin ohm is nothing but nominal voltage divided by root 3 into 1 by i short circuit this is the x ohm now what is x base it is nothing but base voltage which is nothing but the nominal voltage squared into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by mva base i will take mva base above okay so it is nothing but nominal voltage divided by root 3 into 
आई शॉर्ट सर्किट इंटू नॉमिनल वोल्टेज स्क्वेर इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस सिक्स इंटू एम वी ए बेस वॉट इज एम वी ए बेस इट इज नथिंग बट रूट थ्री इंटू नॉमिनल वोल्टेज इंटू आई बेस इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस सिक्स ओके सो दिस विल गेट कैंसिल्ड आउट this will get cancelled out and this will get cancelled out so only thing remaining is x theonin per unit is nothing but i base over i short circuit current now for any system i can easily find the base current then from the given value i can easily find the short circuit current also so in this way i can determine the equivalent circuit for the utility part or the uh, system just behind my substation using these calculations so this is one of the important formula that the thevenin impedance in per unit is nothing but the ratio of the i base and the short circuit current which is easily determined from the short circuit mva okay now once i know this it is already known because because it is usually the nominal voltage then i can find any kind of fault current in the system so in this way the value of short circuit mva is sufficient enough for any kind of fault calculation which will be helpful in determining the various ratings of let us say circuit breakers isolators and other equipment being used in the substation so this concept is having practical importance um, more as compared to the theoretical importance however many questions might come in exam from this concept also so if you find that this lecture is helpful to you then please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you